Joe Rogan thinks you need to know this about George Soros. He was recently speaking with his guest, the former CIA agent Mike Baker, about Sam Bankman-Fried when they broached the topic of the sordid political webs funded by Soros. The House of Cards had already fallen down. Yeah, and he's given like whatever thirty million to Democratic causes, and you know, the number yeah. two do donor next mm -hmm. to George Soros, which is fucking terrifying. Like, that how guy. Much, how old is George Soros? It's a good question. Yeah, is he? He's like a vampire. Right? I had a yeah. conversation with the governor of Texas about him, but oh. with Greg Abbott, where oh. he was explaining to me what George Soros does, and it's terrifying that he donates money to a very progressive, very leftist. Uh, whether it's a DA or whatever politician, and then fund someone who's even further left than them to go against them mm -hmm. and just keeps moving it along. So he's playing like a global game yeah. and that he, he enjoys doing it. Talk about getting an inside scoop there. Rogan relayed to us a conversation that he had with Texas Governor Greg Abbott at the governor's mansion in Austin. Now, Rogan, of course, left California as he left UG and sought refuge in the wonderful state of Texas and Austin. And according to Governor Abbott, what Soros does is he deliberately pushes urban politics, metropolitan politics, radically leftward. You may remember that one of his star candidates, he's a San Francisco, he was a San Francisco district attorney by the name of Chesa Bodine. He was so far left that even San Francisco voters revolted and successfully recalled him. Bodine had been implementing what he called restorative justice, which sought to end mass incarceration by finding alternatives to locking up criminals. In other words, under his leadership, <laughs> you'd better get prepared to get robbed because whoever's robbing you most likely just got a, out of jail for free and no longer fears any societal retribution. But unfortunately, what Soros is doing is indeed working in many parts of our nation. In fact, according to Fox News, Soros-funded DAs now represent about 20% of the American population. That's an astonishing number of DAs, all ultimately in the pocket of one man. Yeah, he enjoys doing it, um, but it is, it's telling, right? He understood early on where you wanted to seize power, mm -hmm. right? And and that's, you know, we sometimes think, oh, I'm going to, you know, I, you know, a senator is that that's the pinnacle of success well it's not really you know it's the it's the da's and it's the it's the state level politicians right so that's where real change occurs and where things can happen and before you know it it's like what the fuck How or this, real uh, corrosion or real corrosion right, that's right. what's scary is yeah. that it seems like he funds corrosion it's like he wants these cities to fall apart he he wants crime to flourish it's, yeah. a, it's almost like he's an evil person in a Batman movie. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Well, he, I mean, he, he made his real fortune by almost busting the Bank of England, right? Mm -hmm. So he's not, yeah, this, this guy is not, uh, you know, he's not out there for truth and justice. <laughs> well, you can say that again. And I love it. I love it. He's like an evil villain from the Batman movie. Or something. Others have made the comparison to Emperor Palpatine. It was like they were separated at birth. Yeah, we got to remember that for a lot around the globe, Soros is no champion of justice. Mike Baker mentioned Soros is breaking the Bank of England. Well, he didn't stop there. Many others blame Soros for crashing the Southeast economy through the same ruthless currency speculation. Soros is rightly considered a very sordid character around the globe. And as Rogan is pointing out here, Soros' political activism has brought that sense of societal ruin right here to the United States. But why? Gang, I have some big news I'm sharing with my audience at the end of the month, just in a few days, actually. But I can only share it with those of you who are on my email list. If you're sick and tired of woke news and ready to get a daily dose of conservative optimism that goes way beyond my daily updates, you won't want to miss this announcement. It's absolutely amazing. So before you do anything, click on that link below and sign up on my email list to learn more about this awesome update. Plus, as an email subscriber, we'll never lose touch with each other. You know, conservatives are getting silenced by big tech like never before. So being a part of my email newsletter guarantees we'll always stay connected. So don't wait. Click on that link. Sign up to my email list. And I can't wait to share the big news with you at the end of the month. It's all very weird. 
It's like, I mean, this guy has obviously been involved in politics at a very high level for decades and decades. And it seems like it's it's like his fun little game he plays. If you had all that money, though, wouldn't you do something about the bags under your eyes? I mean, that was, that was, that was a lot of... He can get that lady he, with the bags under his eyes? Why does he give a... Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's a good point. I yeah, mean, you yeah. would think that if yeah. you had that much money, you're 92 years old, you just want to go fly fishing and sit on the deck and drink yes. coffee and talk to your grandchildren and yeah. just enjoy your life. But he apparently does not want to do that. I think he likes being the puppet master. Right? That's he likes, what's he, wild. Yeah, he likes pulling strings and, and he likes having that influence and, and, and that impact. And, and I guess, you know, what the hell? I mean, it's... But he's uniquely public about it. That's what's fascinating. It's like this is yeah. all known information. Right. That this guy is involved in all these different things that he has his hands in. Yeah, and you could argue that's, I mean, at least there's some transparency there as opposed to, oh, yeah. you know, dark money going into yeah. campaigns and, and other things. And, and you know, so it's, it's, but it is, at 92, I had no, I had no idea he was 92. Good God. You gotta wonder, like, what is it, what's his end game? Mm. And that, of course, is the $10,000 question here. What on earth is Soros' end game? If that CIA fellow knew anything, he wasn't talking. It's hard to really know why Soros is doing this, why he's inflicting so much chaos and ruin in our nation's cities. There are a couple of theories out there. One is he simply hates the United States being the sole superpower in the world. He's reportedly said that. Business Insider actually recently ran a piece pushing this thesis that Soros wants to intentionally weaken the United States from within so as to weaken our power abroad. Soros saw the United States' sole superpower status as a threat to international peace and prosperity. And so in order to further a far more multilateral world order, he's been deliberately trying to sow internal discord and disarray here at home. I mean, the problem with that thesis is that Soros is no more friendly to China than he is to the United States or with Russia for that matter. It doesn't seem like multilateralism per se is his end game. There's another thesis. Soros is deliberately trying to weaken the United States, particularly at its local municipal levels, so as to be able to usher in a more globalist-inspired conception of government, replete with something like Interpol, right? A kind of international policing. I mean, that would certainly explain the tens of millions of dollars poured into the coffers of some of these, the most anti-law enforcement DAs on the planet, and it takes stock of his radical commitment to globalization and centralized globalizing institutions like the WEF. Ultimately, however, we're going to have to find out what Soros's intentions are from him, or perhaps not. The beauty of people like Joe Rogan's shining light on Soros's activities is that he can no longer operate under the radar. Rogan wants you to know that Soros's political activities indicate he's definitely up to something, and it's not good, and it's up to us. To thwart his evil plans. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on a mom shocking a woke school board with some stunning truth on radical trans ideology. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.